Adora was buffed in the most recent update for Battles 2, and here is what was changed. Ninja Kui first reduced the base price of Adora from $700 down to $650. Next, they increased the base pierce of Adora from 5 pierce to 6 pierce. And overall, they said after the initial hype died down, Adora has not been very popular in the highest arenas. We're giving her a couple of early game buffs since she particularly struggles at that stage. And because of those buffs, guys, I wanted to show you the best Adora strategy in my opinion, which is Heli, Alchemist, and Super Monkey. So we're going to hop in some Hall Masters games against some really good players, and let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are against Withmere Fan, who is going Fate Weaver Door here, and I'm bringing Norma Door. So it's the Battle of the Adoras. And funny enough, we are on the Adora map, Sun Palace. So here we go. We're on the strategy of Heli, Alchemist, and Super Monkey, which I was like theorizing Adora strategies. And I honestly think this is probably the best one I could come up with. It's definitely a strong strategy. The Perma Brew with the Sun Avatars late game is pretty good. And obviously, you have a door to buff your Sun Avatars. And then you have Helicopter as your early game defense. And um, yeah, Alk buff as well on the Helicopter. It's just a good combination. But with Mirror fans starting with their Alchemist right there, fair enough. They brought Fate Weaver Door, as I said earlier. So it might be some sort of Ninja Alk combo, is what I'm um, assuming. We start with our normal door, and then we'll probably get a Helicopter down next, is my guess. I think, yeah, we'll start with the Heli. So, I think we'll place it like right around here. Can I fit a heli in here? I can. Okay. Perfect. Leaked a little bit, but that's totally fine. Just keep on Max Eco. Now, I don't know what specific Ninja Elk strategy they might have. Because there's a lot of Ninja Elk strategies that are floating around right now. It's either Ninja Elk Heli, Ninja Elk Farm, or a Ninja Elk Sniper. It's one of those three. So, we're going to have to wait and find out which one. Okay, there's so many blue balloons, which kind of cancels out Ninja Elk Farm. Because if they're going to farm load up, people typically never send blue balloon eco. So... It's one of the two eco variants now. We've already canceled out one of the options, guys. But honestly, I thought this loader would be pretty good against Ninja Elk because the like the advantage of Ninja Elk is that you can play passive and pretty much out late game any strategy. But I think my Super Monkey strategy might be able to out late game their Ninja Elk strategy if I get like a lot of money for my um Perma Brew late game, a ton of Sun Avatars, and maybe a Sun Temple or a True Sun God. We'll we'll have to wait and see. But I I think we could honestly fare well late game against these uh, Ninja Elk strats. So. We'll have to wait and see, though. I'm excited for it. I'm very, very excited. I also should go for a brew. We'll go for it right here on close. This will be my Berserker brew later. Let's get my Farmer down. Let's get my Bloom Bot down. All right. Now, the question is, do they have Heli or do they have Sniper with their loadout? Is it Ninja Elk Heli or is it Ninja Elk Sniper? And I'm not too sure. Let's get larger potions on this. I think larger potions is necessary, for sure, to defend. But this should be a pretty good defensive setup now, I'd imagine. I'd imagine this is enough to defend for a while for me. And we have the door level 3 ability as well, which will help us out. But yeah, the door buff should also help this little out too, a lot early game, right? Adora being $50 cheaper is always nice, and then I think the other change was as more pierced than um, it did beforehand, which is obviously nice too, so I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, black balloons being sent at them. Um, we are going to need to... Do I need to get extra defense against yellows? My opponent will definitely need more defense against yellows, I think. I think I probably will as well, unfortunately. Okay, we're actually struggling against black balloons, believe it or not. So that's not a good sign. I'm hitting one on my keyboard. I was, like, spamming one on my keyboard, and it wasn't using my door level 3 ability. That was actually kind of annoying. So I leaked some unnecessary lives. I don't know why that was occurring, but we should be fine now. Yeah, so their early game is definitely a little bit better than mine, but that's totally fine. Uh, purple balloons actually gonna be a problem. I think I need to boost these. Do I need to boost against these? Wait, they stopped sending. Thank the Lord. Very kind of you to stop sending me purple balloons. I think I would have been in trouble. Okay, we're good. I can get this Razor Rotors up here in a second. And once I get the Razor Rotors up, I feel like I'm gonna be Jay chilling. I'll be Jay chill and I forget this Razor Rotors up. There we go. You love to see it. You love to see it, ladies and gents. And then all we need is an Elk buff for round 11. So I can kind of just greed with my Eco. Because they don't have a farm load, so they're not going to be able to send me a big round 11 rush yet anyways. They're sending me a White Balloon Eco, actually. Interesting. Get my Elk buff up. We're all good. Yeah, that rush doesn't do anything. Okay. Alright. 
My eco is fantastic here. Look at this. 1,050 eco on round 12 is actually a great, great pace. I love to see that. Okay, we're going to start saving up for my... Okay, they're actually rushing me. Nope. That was just a bait, I guess. Start saving up for a rubber to gold here is going to be my plan. We both get our lead to golds up. That's fine. And then pretty soon here, I'll get the rubber. Keep this on first. I don't want this hitting leads. Yeah, we got our rubber gold up. Perfect. Once they get theirs up, I'm going to stop sending them black balloons. And switch over to yellows and pinks. Yep. Don't want to send black balloons into rubber gold. The black balloons feed the rubber gold a lot more. So we're just sending yellows and pinks right now. And I'll probably go for a second rubber gold whenever I can afford it. Because since they are going in an eco loadout, multiple rubber golds are going to be smart. You'll, you'll make really good value off rubber golds when you're just getting constant, constant eco sent your way, ladies and gentlemen. The way rubber gold money works, I've explained it before. I wish there was a money counter so you could actually track how much money it's making. Because I assume it's quite substantial. I got to boost this. That's annoying. Yeah, we're good against this. We're good against this. The way money, the way rubber to gold money works, guys, is you get one dollar per pop of a rubber to goldified balloon. So, for example, if you pop a ceramic that has the rubber to gold coating, you'll make a hundred dollars from popping it because the, there's a hundred total balloons inside of a ceramic. If that makes sense. So it can be really effective if you're hitting a lot of balloons that are de have decent layers to it. Is he gonna rush me again? They stopped ecoing. Yeah, they have full stop their eco. That is a little bit um scary. Okay. I feel like they're gonna try pressuring me again. I'll just boost again if they pressure me. And then I can get level 10 ad Adora Bowl of Light if I sacrifice something. So I think I'll be decently safe against rushes. Now they're going for a heli farm now. It's Ninja Kelly from them. Okay. I feel like they're gonna be aggressive towards me. I feel like their whole plan is just to kind of kill me early here. I don't think they want to take a late against uh Heli Elk Super Monkey. So that's why they sent me those early rushes as well. So I actually might not go for a second rubber to gold because they haven't sent me eco in a while. So I think a second rubber to gold might not be wise. Okay, pretty soon here I should be able to get a uh, heli farm up on my end. Support Chinook. Or maybe they just don't want to send me eco to feed my rubber to gold. That also could be the case. Maybe they just don't want to feed my rubber to gold. I still think sending eco even into rubber to gold is the move here. You just make a lot more money from eco than you do from... um. Than you do from going only fa heli farms and stuff. Okay, no rush from them. Surprisingly. I'm actually going to lock you in place up here. So then it just cycles the balloons in my rubber to gold range. Hopefully. Okay, there's a, there's a helicopter. There's a thing being sent my way. Support Chinook. Perfect. I think what I'll do against this is I'm just going to stall it basically till the end of time. I'm going to go for a... Super monkey on my end, and we'll get knocked back on the super monkey as well. Okay, they're actually sending me a million BFBs as well here. We'll still get knocked back up. We'll go for a um sun avatar on this. The BFBs definitely will complicate things a bit. They're sending me region rainbows. The region rainbows aren't doing anything. Yeah, we're defending that pretty easily at the moment. Do I have level 10 bowl of light yet? I don't. Okay. Let's sacrifice this. So I upgrade level 10 bowl of light. We'll boost this. There's no way we die to this, right? We have boost, we have elk buffs on avatar, we have bowl of light, yeah. Okay. They all outed me, bro. They really thought an all out would work, bro. Look at my defense, dude. What is that? Alright, one and no with Adora, dude. I honestly take it. We'll see, we'll see what strategy go next. If I get a map where I think this strategy can work, I'll run this strat, but I might switch it up depending on the map we get, so. That was a fun one though.
Let's get it. All right, our next match of today's video, guys, we're on Oasis here instead of Sun Palace. Honestly, I don't know which map would be better for my loadout. I feel like both are probably pretty solid, but we're gonna start with our Adora right here. They're going Dart Monkey, Noble Squire 112 for our next bone. So Dart Monkey, I think they brought Jericho as well. Probably some sort of Dart Mortar Farm combination, which is a very aggressive loadout. So we'll have to probably defend a lot of rushes this game, which will be interesting. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it though. Um, our plan will just be to save for a helicopter, I think. We start with our Dora, and then we'll get our heli down as well on uh, round two, and that should be a pretty good plan here. Okay, heli will go, I think, right here. Will be the plan with the placement. All right, move it down. All right, good start. It's normal Jericho, actually, that they're bringing, not um, Highwayman or Star Captain. So normal Jericho is interesting here, because um, it can steal the most out of the Jerichos, but you can also avoid the steals quite if you're playing, paying attention to the game. So I need to make sure I'm avoiding the steals. And they got round two Jericho, which means the first steal will come about on round um, five there. With a round two place. And also, I need to send them blue balloons. What am I doing? I just missed out on a bunch of eco by sending reds there. Okay. I'm throwing, chat. I'm throwing. Send them some blues. The quad darts up on this. I think I'm going to keep my heli hovered right here. Will be like kind of the spot I'll keep it hovered for defense. I'll have a door clean up in the back. All right, this should work out pretty well, I'd, I'd like to think. They got the two dart monkeys down, yeah. They're definitely just gonna anti-stall with the dart monkey and just send me a bunch of rushes. Is, is probably how this game's gonna go, dude. So I just have to be ready with my defenses. Ready and primed, basically. I think our elk buff, where do I wanna put my elk buff? For my helicopter. Put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Put this on close. Let's use a door level three ability. Okay, they're stealing from me. Let's get stronger acid. Avoid the steal. Okay, we avoided a decent bit of it. How well is this defending white balloons and black balloons? Do I need to buy larger potions or not is my question of the day. Or can we defend this without larger potions? Do I need to spend that $250? Okay, door is kind of cleaning up for me. I think I'm going to spend it still. We are still leaking a little bit. I want to keep my life count decently healthy. Um, and I'll tell you why later. The life count will definitely come into play here. Okay, they got a spool on their side. They tower boost against the yellow balloons. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just keep ecoing. 600 eco. This map, this map does get anti-stalled a lot, actually. So it's going to make it a little bit difficult for me. The anti-stall can definitely be rough. Uh, but we're eco, our eco is not actually that terrible. 650, round 8. It's not bad pace. Okay, so we're going to save it for Razor Rotors now. But the reason why I wanted to keep my life count decently healthy, guys, is so then I can tank Jericho camos, believe it or not. The reason why I want to tank Jericho camos, also, they're going to get another steal here in a second. I need to avoid it. There it is. The reason why I want to tank Jericho camos, guys, is because um, if I can wait on buying camo protection on my heli, I can afford more defense for a round 11 rush, which I think it's decently likely they're going to send me a lot of balloons in round 11. So I want to just have as much defense on the field around 11. And avoiding to buy bigger jets and the camo protection on my rotors will allow me to spend another 500 or so dollars on defense. So, I think that's a good decision for me. I can tank that camo. We'll go for another alchemist right here. See if they rush me around 11. They are. Okay, we can afford enough. To, yeah, we had enough defense there. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. And then round 13... We have a pretty good defensive setup going on right now. Round 13, I'm just going to have the same setup, but with a uh, stronger stimulant alchemist on my side. We'll keep this one on strong. Oh, no. Can I not afford? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't afford because of the steel. Come on, come on, come on. Stronger stim. Okay, it's good that they didn't rush me at the start of round 13. I might have been cooked because I don't want to boost against a small rush. All right. I might have been cooked if they rushed me at the start of round 13, but I'm good. That the gold? And then we're going to save up for a rubber to gold on this as well, will be the plan. Okay. Two eco boosts, I get the rubber gold up. Can I eat? Yep, look at that. Camel lead gets taken out by the foam. Uh, not the foam, the clint, the acid. All right. I like my position here. My eco is obviously bad, but that's just the nature of the match, guys. That's just the nature of the map. We're, we're on Oasis, which is an anti-stall map. And we're against a strategy that's specifically trying to anti-stall as well and steal in for me with Jericho. So... My eco's not going to be good here, but my opponent's farms aren't that great, and I just need to survive here, basically. 
Also, my stronger stimulant's doing a pretty good job because it's buffing my helicopter. And it's buffing my um, Adora, which is actually intentional for it to buff my Adora. Because when I use the Adora level 3 ability, the Adora level 3 ability should be quite effective. Also, so avoid the steal. The Adora level 3 ability should be quite effective with the Alk buff. I'm going to keep my helis kind of targeted towards the back here just to make sure these rounds are stalled a little bit. Also, oh, I can't... Okay, one thing I can't do here, which you can do with uh, Ninja Alk, is with Ninja Alk a lot of the time, I'll have a decamo Ninja next to my rubber to gold and I'll make more money from the rubber to gold because I'll be decamoing balloons before they hit but unfortunately with super monkey you don't have that decamo ability so I will we'll be missing out on a little bit of rubber to gold income there because of that but that's fine that is one advantage of ninja elk over super elk there when especially when you're against Jericho that can make a pretty big difference round 18 still no rush from them oh black moab are these fortified? I think they are. Or the second one's fortified for sure. That's boost. Sacrifice that. Wait, that didn't actually level up my thing enough. I wanted to level up my thing to level 10 off that sacrifice, but we didn't do that. I think we're still good, though, nonetheless. We're still good. I don't know why my game's glitched, by the way. It's been glitched. It's apparently not the opponent's balloon skins. It's apparently my game is being glitched somehow, where I can't see a lot of the balloon skins a lot of the time, and all the Moab class are just, like, random blurred-out skins. And it makes it a lot difficult for me, because it's hard to tell the damage stages of stuff, and if they're fortified or non-fortified, it... It causes some issues, guys. Okay, we'll use Bowl of Light here. We'll use Bowl of Light there. That's fine. One more Eco Boost, and I should be able to afford my Chinook. Chinook. All right, perfect. I think we're sitting pretty right now. We're doing a good job. Avoid the steal. Okay, they're sending me that. We are going to go for a... Holy cow. We are going to go for a mob shove here. What's the best way to defend this, you might ask? I'm not actually sure. I'm going to go for a knockback on this. The mob shove plus the knockback super monkey should be quite effective here at slowing this down. We can also use a bowl of light later. Hmm. Do I need a dark knight? I'd like to defend this as cheaply as humanly possible. Okay, a little bit of lag. We're going to upgrade this epic range first. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Helis move. What is this lag, bro? I'm... Okay. I keep moving my helis, and they're, like, taking, like, 10 seconds to move where I'm clicking them. Stay on the ZMG. I'm trying to stall you. I think we'll go for a Dark Knight here. A Dark Knight plus a Bowl of Light in my current defensive setup should be enough to handle, I'd like to think. Dude, this lag is actually really annoying. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cap, ladies and gentlemen. No cap? Okay, they're trying to get a monkey Wall Street on their side. They are. Nicely done. I'm actually going to sell that. If he sends me DTs, I can just go for, uh, go for a Dark Knight with Plasma Blasts against DTs. Actually, I don't even want to get Dark Knight. I want to get a Sun Avatar. Sun Avatars are going to be our late game defense because we're using Perma Brew with Sun Avatars late game. So, they send me DTs, I go for Sun Avatar. For sure is the play. Let's we'll pre-buy it. In all honesty, I'll pre-buy it. Okay, I think I'll go for... I don't want to go for too many more heli farms. This, is, this will probably be my last heli farm I go for. Because round 30 is definitely when they're going to rush me, I'm pretty sure. I just need to start saving up for my... um, What's it called? Perma Brew now. Which Perma Brew spot... I'll just place it right here. Perma Brew spot's not actually that important because... I can obviously Chinook it around, but... We'll just save up for right here. We don't have money to go for a Sun Temple, by the way. We're just doing, we'll be doing Perma Brew with Sun Avatars late game. This is one of the matches where it was like anti-stall. They're stealing with Jericho. They're being aggressive. There's no way I'm going to get a Sun Temple up. 
That would not be worth or smart. That's a BAD and that's fortified, I assume. I can't really tell, obviously, because of the current situation we're in. Let's sacrifice one of these. So I can level up my thing. Come on. I almost died from lag. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh, what a game. What a game, bro. I almost choked from lag at the end there. Oh, dude, what a freaking defend. I'm so happy I won that one. Your lag will not dominate me, Noble Squire 12112. G freaking G, dude. Wow. That was nuts. I'll be honest. That was nuts. That decoy, that decoy they had almost screwed me too. That decoy was pushing, blocking all of my Sun Avatar's projectiles for the longest there. So then I couldn't deal with the rush well. All right, our third and final match with this strategy, guys, is Sniperman6. He has a top one badge, so this is definitely a good player. And we are on the map of Castle Ruins here. Same loadout. I honestly think this map's going to be very difficult as well. I, I would have liked to get like a star, a Sands of Time. Or maybe even a Dino Graver with this load. Unfortunately, we weren't able to. Yeah, look at that. anti stall Dark coming out from them round one. Who would have guessed, bro? Okay, this is going to be a difficult one for sure. We'll start with our Adora here. I honestly, I placed my Adora a little bit late too. So I'm definitely going to leak a little bit, unfortunately. That's fine though. And then we will get my helicopter down as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't like these leaks though. Hmm. Come on, I need my heli. I need my heli. Heli. Heli, heli. I need you. Okay, snipe these balloons, please. That's just tower boost. That's just tower boost. I'm going to tower boost off the rip. I don't care. I don't want to leak a million lives. I should use tower boost. I already messed up my start slightly. That's fine. I'm totally fine tower boosting here. It's all good for me. They got their star cap and Jericho down yet. Yeah, star cap and Jericho as well. They are going to be super aggressive here, dude. Holy cow. It's it's going to it's gonna be hard for me, especially on this map. This is a more difficult map as well. It's going to be a difficult one, but... I think I'll be able to make it work, guys. If I just if I just lock in real quick, let me just let me just sit up in my chair, posture up, lock in. I think we've got a shot. Probably keep some last for now. Let that red balloon sneak by. Yep, good red balloon. Good red balloon. Okay, stole the round. That's exactly what we want. Let's get quad darts on this. Put you back on first now. All right, and then we'll get an elk buff right here later. I think will be the elk buff spot for my heli and my adora. Okay, they got their farm down. It's definitely dart mortar farm from them. 100,000%. Put you on close. Let's get a farmer down. Let's get a balloon bot down. Send him some greens. It's Star Captain Jericho and like normal Jericho from a previous one. I'd honestly probably rather face Star Captain. That normal Jericho gave me a lot of problems in the late game last time. That decoy BFB that they sent me was just blocking all of my super monkey projectiles there. Which was pretty unfortunate. The split path map is definitely messing with my heli. Because now my heli is trying to get all the um, synth balloons at the end of the map. And the split path map is blocking it with the AI balloons. Hmm. Let's 
go with Perishing Potions on this. Send them yellows. I think, yeah, I think I need to buy Perishing Potions early on this map. Okay, we force Tower Boost on their side. I'll take it. Are they going to die here? They're down to 12 lives. Holy cow. They are low, low, low. Save it for my Razor Rotors. They got up a Mortar on their side. 750 Eco. I'll stop right there. Don't buy Camo Detection early. Same thing as we did last time. Do not buy Camo Detection early. I did leak a little bit more than I'd like to early, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me, but... What'd they sell? I don't even know what they sold. I just heard selling noise. Stole the round. We're actually getting a good stole on some of these rounds here. Not gonna lie. I'm happy about that. Okay, I don't like that I boosted that, though. Double Razor Rotors. Camo Purples, Camo Purples. We won! Double Razor Rotors, I sold my Adora for it, too. What a play, selling the hero, bro. Who would have guessed the hero sell goes crazy? The hero sell goes crazy because I couldn't afford my second Razor Rotors with my money, so I had to sell the hero to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Three for three, dude. Honestly, let me know in the comment section if you want to see the strategy come out again. I had a lot of fun making today's video with Heliox Super. And, um,. Yeah, maybe I'll bring it back for you guys. But if you did enjoy today's video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button with your forward, guys. I would really appreciate that. It takes like two seconds. It can really help me out. But that's it for today. Right back out. Peace, lads.